Hey, this is Chris with Porch Talk with Chris and Laura. And that's Laura. Ow! Our subject today is kind of a follow-up from yesterday. Um, our conversation yesterday involved talking movies and um, people that had refused Oscars and whatnot. But we, uh, we got into conversation afterwards about the greatest movie soundtracks of all time. So we're actually kind of want to explore it a little bit, you know. Um, there are... I mean, I, I don't Would know. Would you like to hear mine? This, yeah, yeah. But this, this generation, this generation of people don't know really what we went through because when a movie came out, and I and I'll reference Batman, okay, the original Batman. Got it. That movie soundtrack, Prince did most of it. I know. And it, it was great. It was. That movie soundtrack probably sold more than the actual movie itself. That is probably true. It, I mean, it was, it was awesome. Yeah. And I mean, we, we, I went out and bought the soundtrack to that. It was, it was great, you know. And I was, man, I wasn't even in high school yet, you know, when that came out. But back in the day, movie soundtracks were a big thing. So, you know, now nowadays, people, you know, everything's downloadable on the internet and all of that. So people really don't, you know, um, you know, understand what we older people had to go through back in the day to be able to get you know movie soundtracks but so uh you know maybe some of our uh, watchers um and listeners can uh you know mention some of their you know favorite movie soundtracks that uh they may have mm -hmm. but some of ours go i'm for gonna it. give you two give me two i know one of yours has got to be purple rain yes it a is. absolutely absolutely and we bought that and that's probably top five top five of all time second the Big Chill. Dude, The Big Oh, my God, The Big Such Chill. Such a great movie it was, and a great soundtrack. It was a great movie. And that was, was music even better soundtrack. I was tiny. Even we, before I was born, I was probably tiny. Yeah, even before I was born. Do you know? Do you remember in that movie, do you know who the dead friend was? I, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. They, always, they only showed his hands yep. and everything. They never showed his face, but it was Kevin it Costner. Was he, was the, he was the dead friend. He was. <laughs> That's Which brings funny. us to one of your favorites and mine. My my favorite soundtrack, probably of all time, is is it's Dances with Wolves. It's beautiful. Soundtrack. I love classical music, but man, that's I mean that and probably the Star Wars, but soundtrack. Uh, well, Star Wars really John didn't have Williams a Williams did anything. John Williams is great. Amazing. Yeah, well, just that just supersedes everything. And Hans Zimmer. And, mm, yeah, no, no, yeah. come on, let's no, keep okay. Hans Zimmer. Okay. There's a couple of movies, his soundtracks weren't all that good, but regardless. Regardless. Yeah. But no, um, Dances with Wolves, the uh, the classical music in that, it was it was so moving. Oh, another one. Gladiator. The movie. Gladiator. The, remember when he dies in the pavilion? Yes. And he's being kind of like lifted, like lifted he's up floating. and the song that's playing. Yes. And he's walking through the fields and rubbing the grain and, and his his seeing his wife, wife and his son. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. not only is it a very moving part uh -huh. of the movie, but whatever the song was playing at that time was What's unreal. That? It was like some India shit, man. It was great. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's just a woman's voice in the background with some. It was great. That was a good. It was. That, that was a good soundtrack. It really was. Yeah. It was heavy metal. Mm -hmm. Partial, you know, going to be partial to that. Yeah. Well, I, for that matter, um, oh my God, Christopher Guest, Michael, what's his? Anything. Spinal Tap. Done. This is Spinal Tap. This is Spinal Tap. Was Spinal Tap. Epic. Was, yeah. It was. I mean, you all don't even watch movies, the movie. Just listen. Actually, all of their movies. Like the mighty wind, even though that was all folky music, and stuff, it was brilliant. You it gotta was. admit, because they all can sing. Yeah. You know, and those were Michael those McKean. Were that's something. Michael, Michael McKean. McKean. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Guest. And who was the other guy? Um, Roy. No. Uh, Ray. Schneider. Shearer. 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 Roy Shearer. No. Something sheer. Sure, yeah. He's the guy who does Simpsons stuff, too. Yes. He's on The Simpsons. Yes. Been on there since the beginning. Yeah. You know, Conan well, O'Brien. one character. Conan O'Brien was on The Simpsons. Really? He, I think he was a, a voice and a producer for a while. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what are some more soundtracks? Well, I, I mean, okay. I'll go with, let's start with some stuff that I don't like. Okay. One of the worst movies ever made in history was The Bodyguard with one of the best soundtracks. And I hate Whitney Houston. Just, ah. 
But that was a good soundtrack. Got to admit. It was a beautiful soundtrack. It was. The movie sucked. Mm, I don't care. It's not about the interracial thing. Don't care about no, that. I'm not I, racist. I, that doesn't matter. It's just, it was not, she's not a good actor or actress or was not a good actress. I love Kevin Costner. So I like Kevin Costner watched. too. And he did, he did, he did, he did what he had to do. Yeah. Yeah. Crossroads, not the Britney Spears one, but the one with Steve Vai. Ralph Macchio. Macchio. Yeah. That was a great soundtrack. Oh, that one was good. Oh, brother, where are that? Oh, brother, where are there? That That's has it. to probably be in the top five That's of all time, it. man. It does. There's so many good music, so, many so much good music on that. There is. And what was it? Dan Tominsky from Union Station put together all of that. Really? Yeah, that was his. That was his baby. And he was the one singing. Hi, am the man. That was him singing. The, nice. Yeah, the, the bearded guy from Union Station, Allison Krauss. That that was that was all him. I love when the sisters sing. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember that that movie we watched about the tour thing with the British girls that, the three girls the, that sang it. The, the slip. Man, I can't remember the name, but they were awesome. They are so incredible. That was so great. Okay, we're getting off subject. Let's we get are, back to are. movies, okay? Movie and soundtracks. soundtracks. Yeah. Neighbors Home. Movie soundtracks. So, let's see. What else? Jeez, there are so many. So many. There's so many good movies out there that, I mean, you could, like, help the movie Help by the Beatles. Okay. Yeah, here's another one. Song Remains the Same by Zeppelin. Okay. That hold, movie. Hold up, hold up. Once. Every song that Glenn And Hansford thank you to Miss Laura for letting me oh, and see Michael, that movie just a couple weeks ago. I was sorely impressed. Michael introduced, my son introduced me to that movie and watched it with me. And Thanks, that's Mike. one thing about Michael, because he's a musician, that he, he always, and you do the same, Pulls me in to whatever it is you're doing, whether it's drumming or singing, whatever movies. Michael and I, I love our certain movies together, and that's one of them. In fact, that's his copy, and he's like, he's probably mad right now that I have it, but at the same time, he's like, Mom, it makes you happy. Every song in that in that soundtrack is beautiful and heartfelt and moving, and I love that guy's voice, and I love her voice. Them together is is an interesting voice. It's, interesting. It's different, man. It's, it's, it's some, like we were saying the other day. It's something. You know, you like listening to things different that yeah. are just different, you know, instead of the same old, same old. Of course, Rock of Ages with Tom Cruise had a great soundtrack. It did. I mean, he sang and all that stuff, too. I was really a little surprised that he was, because see, you know what? I didn't know that he could I, sing like that. I didn't either. I mean, he, he probably has an auto-tune and all kinds of sure. other stuff, too, but, but hey, whatever. throw it out there. He did it. It was great. You know? Cocktail. Had a good soundtrack. It did. I hate that movie though. Well, you know, Kokomo Beach Boys. That's when Co that's yeah, when they yeah. kind of first started coming I, back out. It was a good that. soundtrack. It was. Yeah, it it bad. was. Wasn't bad. Top Gun was a killer soundtrack. Awesome. A lot. A matter of fact, most Tom Cruise. Oh, take my breath away. <laughs> you know, that movie was. My dad took me and my little brother to see Top Gun. Oh, yeah? At the movie theater at like 31st and Sheridan, the Mall 31 or whatever. Where they, It's like a dollar movie now. Yeah. But it used to be a real movie theater back in the day. <clears throat> I saw Top Gun there, and during the sex scene, my dad, who was an evangelist at the time, his face went pale. And me and my brother just well, he going... probably didn't know that was going to be in there. He wouldn't have taken you, you know. It was it was awesome. That, well, that was I'm sure moment. it was for you and your brother. Your dad's probably... But all the Kenny oh Loggins songs? Come. Footloose! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that was a great... Yeah, yeah that's a great... It was a good one. Great soundtrack, man. It's so good. I watch Footloose just because of that. I, I get Kevin Bacon and all the rest of the movie. The soundtrack Kevin was Bacon's awesome. Kevin Bacon's a musician. He is. And he's a, the Bacon Brothers. Him and, that's right. Yeah. And he... I think he loves music more than he does acting. I think he does. That too. guy's a talented musician. So is Jared Leto. Lido, how do we say his last name? He's, Lido Leto. Whatever, he's a great, great actor. I love him as a musician, and I and you can tell that his what gets him is that music, and he's got his brother playing with him. You know, those guys are immensely talented. Oh my gosh, I love them. I mean, not only is like Jared Leto just like as uh, a man, beautiful. you just you want to hate him because he's so flippant cute. Yeah, he's and he's no, he's a he's like Rob Lowe. He's a pretty man. He's right. not. He's pretty. Right. The pretty you know, man. He's got those classic just. Uh, the perfect mix of feminine whatever and masculine. features they are, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you, exactly. Um, Saint Elmo's Fire. I like that soundtrack. I did. 
Okay. I I'll give you that. I just ripped a hole in my jeans so big. Oh my gracious. Huge. Sweet. Right. Are, you, are you showing like any private parts or anything? I'm starting to look like Michael now with the holes. Those are Michael's jeans. No, these are mine. Oh, okay. Okay, let's think of some more because this is awesome. I was thinking of some really great ones. Yeah, uh, this is really like spawning my... Uh, risky I'm, business. Risky business was good time for it. Just take those old records off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> you just sent me five. I Bob can't Seger. help it. That's awesome. I can't help it. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so you know. You know what else was good? It was it was hokey, but the Wiz soundtrack. The Wiz. The remake of The Wizard of Oz with Michael Jackson, and Diana Ross. Ease on down, ease on down the road. That's that came from the Wiz. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. Huh. Weird movie. Didn't like the movie. Love soundtrack though. Yeah. You know, Aladdin's soundtrack was actually pretty good. All the songs they sang in those. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast soundtrack was good. I, I Angela Lansbury. Like... Tale is old and time. I love that. <laughs> she was... The Sound of Music. Oh. I mean, you can't, though, dear female dear, you cannot deny that it gets stuck in your head. It does. I always like that. You are 16 going on 17. I always love that one. Yeah, 16 so going that on 17. that guy turned out to be a jerk. He was mm -hmm. going to turn them into the Nazis. Who does that? Well, a lot of people did back yeah, then, I unfortunately. Know. <laughs> uh, there's, so, there's so many. The Bond so Trap many. family. <laughs> oh, meet me in St. Louis. Yeah. I love Judy, though. I love Judy Garland. I just do. Do. You know, we're going back to those, you know, abrasive, like Lucille Ball thing. Judy Garland was one of those abrasive. No, Judy Garland was an addict. That's the difference. Judy Garland. Okay. She Judy just, Garland she just was wasn't a butthole. She was, she Judy had a Garland reason to be a butthole. Judy Garland was tortured and was put on medications at such a young age that she didn't stand a chance. Yeah. She was so talented. Hmm. So talented. The jazz singer. Oh, my great. God. Great. Neil Diamond. Yep. So awesome. I get cold chills thinking about it. I just that got movie. goosebumps. Yeah. I really did. Goose pimples or goosebumps? Goosebumps. What's your goosebumps? goosebumps. Your goosebump person mm -hmm. or goose pimple? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what else? We've already named them. There's, so, there's, so, <laughs> there's so many good soundtracks out yeah. there. I mean, and movies that were written around music or for a specific genre of music or, and really what I'm getting at is, just like a collaboration of different songs yeah. that whoever the music guy that put everything together just made it, made it work yeah. and it made the, the movie better Did. than, than what it, you know, than what it should have been. Exactly. Cause there's some movies that sucked that the soundtracks were like, and you're like, oh. damn, I mean, <gasps> the commitments. Oh, the co oh my gosh. I that's about that's that probably movie. my top five soundtracks of all time. That's one of the, Best soundtracks ever. That really the, is. I dude, the Motown R&B stuff movie. in that, which is brilliant. So good. So good. So talented. Love that movie. So do I. We gotta watch gotta that. Gotta thank, thank my ex-wife for that one. She turned me on to that. And from then on, it was like, you know what? This is it. Okay. Why? You know. All right. Gotta give her a swap every now and then. A uh, uh, swap? Yeah, swap. Past that point, whatever. <laughs> I I can pick a few from my previous marriage, but I, I don't want to go down that road. The so. Big Chill was a really good pick, though. Big Chill That's was a great there. pick. That I mean, that is that up appeals there. to people from the time it came out to now. Yeah. If you don't, if you watch that movie and don't love that soundtrack, there's something wrong with you. I, I agree. It was amazing. It was it was awesome. I love it when they're doing the dishes. Yeah. And they're throwing them and they're dancing and. Having a good time. They're all high as so balls, too. Oh, so they're just having so much drama. It's great. Everybody acting crazy. Oh, I love that movie. No, that was a fun movie. It was. I gotta watch that. We, we need to watch that. We'll make this a two-part series. We'll okay. really have to do some research and and look at some other soundtracks, you know, from movies that are inspiring. And if you want to you know, dial in and say, hey, what your favorite yeah. soundtracks, we'll mention if you If you've got a, you know, a, a favorite soundtrack or something like that, then... You know, go ahead and post your comment, and we get post uh, part, post part two 
um, we'll, you know, we'll go ahead and give you a mention that, you know, this, that, and the other, that this person likes this, but we'll also give reasons, you know, why it was good or yeah. you know, that person's choice sucked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we good? No, we don't. We don't we think anyone do sucks. No, nothing like that. that. No, Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. Movie soundtracks, man. That's All a right. good topic. Part two coming up. All right. Sounds All right. good. That's good. Good go, co-host. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah, well, this is uh, Porch Talk with Chris and Laura, and we'll see you soon with uh, part two of Inspirational Movies Tracks.